everybody, I'm Mad Muck. Welcome back to my game room. And guess what? We hit 20 subscribers. Not 200, not 2,000, but 20. Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, I am so stoked. It's not massive achievement, but uh, for me, it means the world. Alright, that somebody out there that I don't even know watches my content. So I'm very happy. Thank you very much guys. I really appreciate it. And as promised, I'm in my game room. You can see more of it. And uh, I'm going to take you on a tour of these four very short walls because this is a very small room and I have crammed all my crap in here. So um, yeah, let's just get into it. And afterwards I will uh, give you a bit more of an insight on um, this whole collection of mine. So let's just get into it, shall we? So let's start by taking a look at the wall that everybody sees whenever you have to look at my ugly face. This is my main wall, which, oh, as I said, I use as my backdrop for many of my live action shots. So uh, let's get this camera off the tripod and um, take a closer look at what the hell's on this wall. Okay, so I lied. I'm not taking it off the tripod, but um, I'm going to give you a closer look at what the hell's on this wall. We're going section by section. First off, we have a Bioshock Infinite poster, which came with the game, so I like it. Uh, it's a very cool game, so it's one of my posters I have. I, most of my posters look like real crap at, at the moment because I uh, haven't really stored them very well. This was the best one I had, so it filled the wall. Um, okay, I don't know what happened there, but uh, moving on, um, right up here, let me take that off the wall, this is my Kitty Cat Gaming Fortune Board, signed by the one and only Susie from Kitty Cat Gaming, and I love this poster, check out, check out Sparkles, can you see that? That's so cool, yes, I hang that up on my wall, because I'm proud of it. Over here, I'm um, a big fan of the Riddick movies, so I've got Pitch Black, Riddick, Dark Fury, which is the anime one, and uh, Riddick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the four films. I used to have the three films plus the uh, uh, Escape from Butcher Bay game for the Xbox, but the fourth film came out, so, you know, I'll put it in there. Um, can we see anything else? Here we go. We got this bad boy right here. This is my ancient Mew Pokemon card. It's not rare. It's not unique. It's not valuable. It just looks really badass. And I had a spare frame, so I put it in a frame. Why not? Don't judge me. <laughs> um, okay. And we've got... Um... Fang from Final Fantasy 13 on Bahamut, right there, and uh, can you see anything? Yes, you can. Wow, this camera's got a really wide lens. That's so cool. Um, I have a, uh, I forgot what they, litho lithograph? I, I forgot what they called it, but um, it's of lightning. I don't know if, if you can actually get the effect in there, but... Uh, it's from, um, is it Lightning Returns? I think it's from Lightning Returns. Yeah, again, it's something I put in a frame, you know. I just tried to make this wall look a bit more entertaining as a backdrop. Because I don't know if you've seen my first live action shot, I think in my um, uh, Dino Croc vs Super Gator uh, rant that video take a look at it you'll see all of this is missing it looks horrible it looks absolutely horrible so um yeah what well, it, it it grows all right it's a work in progress um this is where i keep all my anime i'll just put the uh, actually before i check that out 
right over here is um, a whole bunch of um, How to Train Your Dragon 2 figurines. So it's a whole bunch of dragons. Really, really cool. We'll take a closer look at that with the camera just in just a minute. But uh, first off, yep, I just want to show you over here is uh, where I keep my uh, graphic novels and comics. And also my, my manga and anime films on the top. And let's just focus down a bit. And if we go down, you can see over there. Cool. Let's take that shot. Groovy. And I'm down here now. So, this bad boy right here. This is for Disney Infinity 2.0 that I got for PS3. And uh, this was the special edition pack that came out. It was the Marvel Super Heroes pack. Came with all the superheroes and this really groovy um, stand. It's a frost giant with, and it all lights up. Check this. See, frost giant lights up. See, his chest is all glowy. And you touch it again, then the whole damn thing lights up. Check that. Isn't that cool? You know how freaking long it took me to figure out where the on switch was on for this thing? It's just, it's like a touchpad thing. That's that's very hard to miss. And, uh, well, very easy to miss, should I say. And, uh, yeah, they don't give you any instructions. They don't point to it. It doesn't say start. It does. It says nothing. It's just the little Disney Infinity indentation. And, God, it took me so long to figure that out. Um, got a uh, shelf thing here for all my controllers, which I have many. Um, got my Gengar. And... Whole bunch of anime. Let me scooch over. Beep. Okay, so whole bunch of anime and manga, anime films, uh, graphic novels, comic books, and a few figurines. I've got uh, Belle Dandy from Arma Goddess. I have. Uh... Yeah. Ray. Ray? I think it's Ray. I've never seen Evangelion, but uh, yeah, that's from Evangelion. It's a uh, little blue head Ray Chibi. Let me show you that there. See? Cool. And uh, yeah, it goes over there. That was just a random buy that I had. Um, I've got three of my pop vinyl um, characters there. Uh, what else can we see on there? Oh, yeah, got my uh, Pokemon things which you've seen in my uh, game room halls. And down here, which I'll just give a quick look at. Uh, if we take a look just down there, you will see I've got my headsets and everything in there with um, a whole bunch of DVDs on the other end. And if I go up a bit more, you can see the rest. And there is also a poster, a scroll poster of Tifa from, I think that's from the Advent Children film, which is a very important film to me. And after this little tour, I will let you know why. And I also have a copy of Life is Strange there, which is the special edition and a Super Sonico figurine. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod this time and I'm going to give you a closer look at what is on this wall. Okay, so now you're going to see some quality camera work. Look at how steady I am. Yeah, I got the jitters. Alright, there's my kitty cat gaming poster. The lighting is, is not actually that bad, it's just a very bit glary though. So uh, yeah, there's my... Uh, Check it out, check it out. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll light that up in close range. You see, first his chest, mouth and eyes light up, and then this bad boy lights up. Look at that. Isn't that just wicked? That is so cool. It's got all the Avengers plus Loki. And uh, if I can remember correctly, getting this collector's pack was the only way to get 
the Hulk on the release date. And I was very happy for that because Hulk is my favourite Avenger. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, one of the minions. Um, there's my Riddick poster thing. Um, card, Bahamut and Fang. There's Lightning. And here we go. Here's all the uh, little dragons. See that? Just little figurines. I got one of them for my birthday and um, I thought, shit, that looks really cool. And then I kept seeing them in store, so I just got a whole bunch of them. And I think they look really cool. So I, I just collected them. See, I you'll notice I collect a whole random bunch of crap in this room. So, uh, yeah. There's Super Sonico in her... Uh, bodacious glory and um, I have two copies boom whoop okay never mind never mind I have two copies of uh, the evil within I'll just kick that over there which are now on the ground because I, I take care of them mm -hmm. uh, my special edition of Life is Strange um, all of my anime, comics, manga, graphic novels, and all that kind of stuff on there. My Pokemon, and those two little black bags over there, that's got my Pokemon cards in it. And also a bunch of paints and things for miniature painting. Yeah, I did paint a few miniatures. And these are just a bunch of DVDs. Um, these are all in alphabetical order, in my alphabetical order, and uh, in the bottom of that last one there with the Fantastic Four, let me see if I can zoom in, zoom in, there we go, yeah those are the uh, DVDs that aren't actually in the, alph <laughs> in the, um, haven't been sorted into alphabetical order yet. And there's all my headsets and a few little bits and pieces. And also over there is my table that folds up quite neatly and hides away in the corner there, out of out of sight, out of mind. So that's pretty cool. Now that is the main wall. So let's go back onto the tripod and take a look at the next wall. Groovy. Okay, so this is wall number two, moving to the left-hand side of the previous wall. And um, at the bottom there, I've got all of my uh, board games and stuff. And above that is a figurine that I probably cannot show on YouTube. Um, a whole bunch of DVDs, all my games for Xbox and PlayStation, um, my projector, a bunch of manga and anime as well. As well as another scroll poster, my Iron Man, my Iron Monger collectible, my Surgeons in Space from Rooster Teeth poster, and a few of my Nintendo things up the top there. So, uh, yep, I'm just going to straight go to taking the camera off the tripod and give you a closer look at what I've got. Alright, so, over here. We have got uh, Fear 1, 2, and 3 with the Alma um, figurine. And it glows in the dark. I, I can't really show it because it doesn't work very well. Like in this lighting, obviously. But her stomach glows and her face glows. And believe you me, it is one of the creepiest damn things you will ever see. And it's not the sexy Alma either. It's, it's the absolutely gross, sickly looking one. Look at that. Ew, that's gross. Horrible. Okay, but anyway, um, I have a whole bunch of uh, box sets and um, things down here. And also my Xbox and also Wii games. Over here is my Armageddon controller, my Doomsday controller, sorry. It is the um, PS3. Three afterglow controller that I shattered into pieces on the 21st of December 2012 which if you remember is supposedly the doomsday of the Mayans or the end of the Mayan calendar something like that so I just named it my doomsday controller 
yeah, it was really, really hot, and uh, I was getting really frustrated playing Bayonetta. Oh, and there's my um, Bioshock Infinite collectible pack. And down here, we've got some Xbox 360 games. If we go down to Xbox games, then on the bottom, we've got Xbox One games and Wii, Wii U games. And also a couple of Wii games down there that I am actually borrowing from a friend. Um, a few guidebooks, my DS games, and a few others. And then if we scooch over, uh, I'm on my knees here trying to scooch, I have a whole crap load of board games. Look at that mess. That, that is, can I, can I actually show it? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's a freaking, a whole mass of board games. And then, uh, yeah, from there we go up. And this is, God, what is her name? Um, I have blocked her with the uh, box set of Ekitosin because, um, yeah, it's not quite appropriate. I don't know if you can see the, um, the rest of it, like the chains and stuff, but uh, yeah, not really appropriate. Can I show the, f there we go, there's the face over there. And uh, yeah, not something I want to really put on YouTube. There's a poster from, that I got from a tattoo convention which is really cool. And up here, this is cool. I like this. This is my uh, Ruby collection. R-W-B-Y from Rooster Teeth. Made by, created by Monty Ohm. The late, great Monty Ohm. And um, I have got Team Ruby, which consists of Yang, Weiss, uh, Ruby, Blake, and over there I have Nora. And I just wanted Nora, because Nora is freaking awesome. And I have the first and second series. And the first series I have on DVD and Blu-ray. And I also have the soundtrack as well for the first series. Really cool figurines. Glad I got that. Over here we have got my Panasonic um, something or other projector. Which is very useful. And I haven't used it much during the summer because it is freaking hot. And this thing heats up the room like you can't believe so it's really good during winter. And then we move up here. Um, I haven't quite lit this up, but this is my uh, fan-made... I did not make this. I bought this. It is a fan-made arc reactor, which actually glows nice and blue. It's got a um, battery pack on the back. Um, I forgot to put batteries into it. So it's not lit up at the moment. I will light that up in a moment and I will show you. Then I've got my Hulkbuster um, Disney Infinity figurine, which is really, really badass just sitting around here. Over here, I have got, uh, that's a lot of glare, a few, oh, three figurines that I painted. They look all right. Well, I had a lot of fun painting these ones, but then I just got really bored and I didn't want to paint anymore. Iron Man 1, 2, and 3, and over here, you can see Iron Man, and, sorry buddy, you have to move, the helmet of Iron Monger. I can't remember how many of these were made, I'll just scooch this and this out of the way, but that is a replica of the prop, it is a one-to-one -one scale, um, replica of the prop for Iron Monger from the first Iron Man movie. Really cool. I really, really like it. It uh, cost me a little bit, but it comes with a certificate of authenticity. It is number something or other of, I don't know how many, I can't remember. Um, I might have to come back to that one when I when we look at the other war and I'll show you it. But uh, yeah, that's my Iron Man little collector's thing over there. Oh, and on the side here, we have another scroll poster of Yuna and Len from Final Fantasy X-2. Which, um, yeah, you can hang me up to dry for this, but it's one of my favorite Final Fantasies. I love it. It's such a cool game to play. And then, wow, I've got a lot of stuff on this wall. Up there, we have got the bigger, blacker box, which is just in your face. 
and that is for Cards Against Humanity. That is the big box that holds all the cards with the expansion pack. Um, I've got a few uh, Mario question blocks up there. Uh, Monster Hunter 3 for Wii or Wii U. Is it Wii? Wii U? I don't know if Wii, maybe. And then I've got uh, four of my amiibos there. Rosalina, Kirby, Bowser, and Princess Peach. And then if we move to the side, we've got Harley Quinn. One of the uh, action figures. Uh, Mario Party 10 with the Mario amiibo. Um, I have a... What was that again? That was the... Um, oh yes, Super Game Boy um, adapter for the Super Nintendo. And a, this is cool, this is cool, I found this. Super Mario board game from way back in the day. It's freaking ancient and I, and I have all the pieces for it. So who knows, it may cost something someday. Um, over this side, I have another collector's pack for Disney Infinity. This is for 3.0, the Star Wars collector's pack. And the only way to get Boba Fett on release. So yeah, I played that a little bit. It's, it's alright, it's pretty cool. It's Disney Infinity, it's fun. Um, up there I have three more Amiibos, I haven't taken them out of the boxes. I have Meta Knight, Zero Suit Samus, and Silver Mario. So yeah, that's the freaking Tower of Awesome there. So cool. And then over here we have Surgeons in Space by Rooster Teeth. This was for Surgeon Simulator on... Um, Rooster Teeth, played by Gavin and Michael. If you don't know Achievement Hunter, I highly suggest checking them out. They're freaking hilarious. Uh, down here, okay, we're going to go down in sections here. Okay, we have School Rumble, my favorite anime. I freaking love this anime. It is hilarious. It takes the awkwardness of school and then just puts it in a dryer filled with a whole bunch of ridiculousness because this is just a ridiculous anime and over here uh, oh yeah I've just got to explain this um, the uh, glass tube on it is not because the figurine is highly collectible or very very fragile it's just because I had this glass cylinder and for some reason I looked at this figurine and went huh that fits over that figurine so there we go it's, it's not super valuable. It's uh, of Sawichka Eri. And um, more, one of my favorite characters from the, the anime and manga series. So, um, yeah. That's that one. And then if we go down, we see my man Kratos. With all my God of War games. I have quite a few double ups there. Um, I have every God of War. And um, I've also got a Kratos uh, pop vinyl. And right in the background there, just behind Kratos there, you've got a um, case for an iPad or a, a tablet. It was useless. I don't use it for anything. It just looks cool. It's got a cool picture on it. Let me just see if I can move. There we go. See that? That's just groovy. Kratos being all soulful and whatnot. I'll put you back there, buddy. Good stuff. You you guard your little cubicle, whatever. And over here, you will see there's... Um, God, I've forgotten her name already. Uh, Kashiwazaki Senna. Okay, it's Senna and Yozura from Haganai. So, yep, Senna was in my last model watch. And I have... Uh, Hugganai and Hugganai Next, which is the two series of Hugganai, and only the first volume of the manga. Um, I need to get onto that because I really want that manga, and um, I just I just stopped getting it. I, I don't know why I stopped, but I, I really should get back into that. And over here we have got Bayonetta, uh, my play arts figurine, and uh, oh oh. Hi, <laughs> Groovy. Um, <laughs> I've got the um, collector's pack of Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U. I have a um, collector's pack of Bayonetta for the Xbox 360. I have the Bayonetta, what is it called? Blood Fate anime movie, which is really cool. 
I watched it. I didn't um, expect it to, to be that good, but it was actually really good. And over there, I've got my Wii U gamepad with a lava lamp. Groovy. Well, again, something I'm not using during <laughs> the summer because it heats up the room. And over here, we have got my PS2 games. Um, going down, got some PS1, some more PS2 games, some PSP games, and a PS Vita game. And then if we go down to the bottom, we've got some PS3 games. And I think one PS4 game. <laughs> yeah, I need to get more PS4 games. And then over here, we have more DVDs. Yeah. And on the bottom there, I've just got a bunch of cables, like charging cables and stuff. And on the side of it is a bunch of game trade magazines for um, board gaming. Which I got for free. And my Dragon Hunter's Guidebook. Handbook. Whatever it is. So yeah, that's this wall. And then we look over there and it's the door. Good stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's, that's all of those bad boys. So let's move on to the next wall. Yeah. Alright, so this is kind of a uh, corner wall. Because um, over there is the door, so there's not much entertaining going there. But this is the creme de la creme of my collection, I guess. And um, also my, <laughs> my computer desk. How's that for a badass computer desk? So uh, again, let's take the camera off the tripod and take a closer look, shall we? Okay, so starting off. On top here, we have got um, a poster for Devil's Kiss uh, for Bioshock Infinite. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Um, my collector's pack, my freaking awesome Heavensward collector's pack for Final Fantasy XV. Uh, nope, Final Fantasy XIV, dumbass. Which uh, I got for an absolute bargain. You remember that one. $300 down to like 30 bucks. Freaking awesome. And down here is my limited edition PSP, which I got, it is a, um, god damn it, what is it, uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core limited edition PSP. I still have the box for it, it is something that I really, really wanted when it came out, and, um, I, uh, made some bad money choices to get it, so... <laughs> Yeah. Moving down. Down here, a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but uh, I've taken the uh, figurine out of there and put it into here. So I'm going to open this case so I don't get much of that reflection so you can see it even better. Come on, open. There we go. See, there's the dragon mount from Final Fantasy XIV, Heaven's, War Heaven's Ward. Damn. Enunciate, fool. And uh, my PS4 edition of um, Final Fantasy XIV. Going down, uh, this is what came with the Crisis Core uh, PSP. And there is the PSP. Let me just show you this. I'm not going to lift it. I'm going to show you. See? It's just the back of it. The front of it just looks like a normal PSP. It's really cool. And it, at that time, it uh, wasn't used because I had another PSP until it got freaking stolen. Luckily, this one wasn't stolen. Happy about that. Um, a Crisis Core um, art book. And the game. Crisis Core for PSP. And then if we move down. This is my Final Fantasy X selection, I guess. Well, my display. Um, my HD remake. Special edition. With the metal case, which has absolutely super superb artwork on it um, Final Fantasy X 2 and a bunch of little you know bits and pieces because Final Fantasy X is I think one of it's number two if not the first best game I have ever played my favorite game not the best game I've ever played my favorite game it's either my favorite or my second favorite it's yeah and then we've got Sharknado here. <laughs> I just love this pop vinyl. It's so cool. Uh, a couple of PC games from back in the day. Down here we've got some more DVDs. 
whole bunch of them. Look at that mess. Over here we've got a whole bunch of um, things for my next game room haul. So all my new stuff goes over there so I know what goes into my game room haul. Um, over here we've got one screen for my uh, computer. I have two screens for my computer. Um, and in the background there, that big, whoa, that was fuzzy. That big black square is um, my gaming board. Like if I do board games, it was for games of boredom. Um, it was a nice big platform to play on and it was easy to record. Okay, so get back up on my feet. Over here, we have got my Watch Dogs Dead Sec Limited Edition. It's got the figurine, cards, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've opened the box up and displayed it. And in the back there, the move your fat hand, fool, is my um, day one controller for Xbox One. Um, that I'm, I'm going to have to mention it. My, uh, my mate got an Xbox One on day one. And then when he left, he sold it to me. So, yeah, technically it's, it's mine. But, uh, yeah, he was the one that did the legwork and actually pre-ordered it for day one. Over here is my Final Fantasy case with all my Final Fantasy stuff. And this is pretty much the core of my collection. This is what started everything. Like, everything. Okay, on the top there we have a bunch of games. My PS2 controller, which I have played all my, um, well, okay, I haven't played many of the Final Fantasies. I have all of them, but I haven't played many of them. But the ones I have played on PS2, PS1, I have played with that controller, and, yeah, I kept it. So, it's, it's a special controller for me. Good times. So, that's a whole bunch of games. Two big collector's packs on the back there for uh, Type-0 and Realm Reborn, Final Fantasy XIV, and Special Edition Final Fantasy Advent Children um, DVD set. Okay, then we come down here. We have got another Crisis Core display there with Aerith from Crisis Core. And we've got a sword box in the back there. We've got Final Fantasy VII with Sephiroth. Which is not actually from Final Fantasy VII, that figurine. That is from, what the hell, um, either Dissidia or Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, yeah. But it's the only Sephiroth figurine I have, so. And they've got the guidebooks in the background there. And these very expensive guidebooks on the back here. Um, that's those, those ones that weigh a ton. My awesome... Um, forgot what the hell it was called. It's not a buster blade. It's uh, it's the one that breaks into like seven blades. And this one legitimately breaks into seven blades. It's so cool. Wouldn't want to use that in a fight. And then down here I have a whole bunch of the games. Um, all my Final Fantasy games and all my guidebooks for them. So yeah, that's... And in the back of all of that is a bunch of little um, merchandise things like uh, I've got some weapons like all these little actually where is it it's over here see that that blade yeah I've got blades from different Final Fantasies and um, all those sorts of little things they're, they're, they're just cheap little things not really collectible but I saw them I wanted them they were cool so yeah that's my Final Fantasy um, side of things and then we move over here, we have got my PC, which is just an Acer. And it, it works, it's really good PC. And it's touchscreen too, so don't sneeze on it. Over here we've got my uh, display for The Last of Us. We've got the game in the background, where are you at? There you are. We've got the uh, guidebook and we've got the figurine, Alien Joel. Yay. And then we've got a whole bunch of DVDs again. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, that's this corner. And uh, let's move on to the last wall, shall we? And take a look at that. Cool. Okay, last wall. Over there we've got some uh, 
DVDs and stuff that need to go into storage. They're either special cover, special edition, or multi-packs, which I haven't really got much space for them. As you can see, that's the only space left that I have. I need to get more shelves. So uh, they're going to probably go into a box somewhere and join the rest of stuff that I can't fit into this room. <laughs> And uh, yeah, this is the main wall where most of the action happens during winter, I must say. Because uh, during summer, most of my games usually just play through my PC screen. And uh, that's where I do my recording as well. So uh, yeah, um, the camera's going to go dark when I go up here because of the sunlight. But uh, yeah, it goes all the way up there and all the way down there. So we're going to take the camera off the tripod one last time. And we're going to take a closer look and see what the hell's up here. Alright, so before I show you all of this, um, here you go, I got it working. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is so freaking awesome. Yeah, so that's my uh, Iron Man um, arc reactor. Fan made. Really cool. Okay, so, and uh, oh, also my um, Iron Monger helmet. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? There we go. Yep, that is number 152 of 250 that have been made. So yeah, that's probably my best collect. Well, not my best collectible, but um, my my first real collectible. Put it that way. Okay, over there we have um, I don't know what her name is. Blue haired girl with maid outfit and handcuffs for Ikitosin. Um and <laughs> a second box set of Ikitosin. Yeah, I got a box of bunch of anime and yeah, I got a second copy, so yeah. Um, more DVDs all the way down. And then over here we have got Mizuho um, from Please Teacher, plus the uh, Fat Pack um, series in the background there. So two figurines of Mizuho. And then we come down, we've got more DVDs, more DVDs, oh my god, so many DVDs. And then over here, we have got these cool little figurines. Um, I did figure out what they were, but I can't remember. Um, so it's pretty much the female cast, I guess, of um, Please Twins, which is the sequel to Please Teacher. And uh, yeah, all the girls at the beach or the pool, very cool. Okay, so uh, we'll go from there. Before we get into this mess, we'll go over here. And up top there, we have got Ash with the moose head. Um, my zombie survival can. And a copy of Evil Dead 2. And Ash is from Evil Dead 2 with his groovy... I think that's where I keep why I keep saying groovy, because I like that film. It's just groovy. Um, <laughs> okay, we got more DVDs, more DVDs, God. Um, we have my Frozen display here, um, the Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray, the soundtrack, and the three Disney Infinity characters. Um, yeah, I like Frozen, so sue me. Uh, there we got more DVDs, oh, more DVDs. That's the last of the DVDs. Okay, and then we have got a figurine from Black Rock Shooter. Uh, this one wasn't very high quality, but, um, well... I thought it was good quality, but turns out it wasn't. But it still looks pretty good. And I don't actually have any anime manga, or I can't even remember where this comes from. But I do have a deck of cards from whatever it is. Yeah. And then let's go to the main event. Over here, oh, right on top of this, you see over there and over there, is my pull-down projector screen. So that's cool. Oops. Here's something I missed. A, another scroll poster of Lightning Returns. Uh, no, of Lightning from Final Fantasy XIII. Yeah, just above my PC. Cool. Okay, now, the center of this mess, just below my uh, projector screen, is my unfinished Halo display. It's kind of really dark because of the friggin' window. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, this was supposed to be my Halo display. Um, got the big figurine. It's kind of just ended up being a dump site for all my controllers. 
that don't fit in there. So uh, yeah, guidebook for Halo 5. Um, no, Halo 4. So yeah, there's that. Um, I kind of really need to work on that because uh, I do want it to be a complete display because I do have all the Halo games, well most of them. Um, going down we have got my Panasonic home theater system which is kind of old doesn't have HDMI on it but it still serves my needs, it still works. Um, over here we have got my uh, Elgato game capture which goes all the way to my PC and um, uh, center speaker, um, my dock for my Wii, <laughs> for my Wii, and my Xbox 360, which I was using. Um, a couple of skulls here, glass skulls with some alcohol. Yeah, because why not? So uh, let's take a look and see what the hell's in here. All right, so I know what you're thinking. You've got all these games, but how the hell do you play them? Well, let's take a look. You play them with a whole bunch of cords and a dangerous fire hazard. Yeah. <laughs> this is my um, storage cabinet for all of my gaming stations. Uh, I've got all my Xbox ones down there, my Xbox One, my um, original Xbox, my Xbox 360, which I've been using. Um, I used to have all of these things plugged in and they all had power to them and it was a massive fire hazard so I thought less is more so um, I only have one station plugged in at any time so yeah so I've got all my Xbox ones there uh, all my PlayStation things here my PS4 this is very bad lighting sorry about that uh, my PS2 my PS1 my American PS1 um, that is because I bought a game that I really wanted to play and I can only get an American version so I've got an American PS1, why not? Um, my PSP and another controller that I have destroyed which I'm going to make into another display <laughs> yay um, and these are all my Nintendo, bleh, <laughs> Nintendo my Nintendo game stations I've got a few Game Boys there, my GameCube, Wii U, a Wii um, the Famicom uh, SNES, uh, I've got a Game Boy Color, Game Boy Micro, Game Boy Advanced, and Game Boy Advanced SP. So yeah. So that's my collection, hopefully that's uh, given you a bit more insight. There is more to my collection, but it won't fit into this tiny room, so it's in storage. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly set up the table, get myself a drink, I know what you're thinking. Damn! You look weird. Yo, well, it's taken me like three days to set up this damn table. I don't have my drink. Where's my drink? What do you want from me? So a quick history of um, my collection that I have here. Right, um, it started in, I think, late 2006, early 2007, which is scary because it's about almost 10 years that I've been collecting this stuff. Excuse me. And um, it all started with Final Fantasy. I started collecting Final, yeah, Final Fantasy um, games when I discovered that Final Fantasy was a game series. Um... And from there, it kind of branched off into DVDs, collectibles, um, different gaming stations, and a whole bunch of games. And it was contained um, within a closet space for quite some time, um, until about 2011, where I decided to put it into a room. And that is where the game room was born. Yes, yeah, so I am very proud of my collection. Um, it has taken me a long time and a lot of money and effort to um, build this collection, which I enjoy sharing on my channel. And uh, also, I enjoy collecting and building on this, this creation of mine. And uh, yeah, what does the future hold for this game room? And the channel. Well, um, I have 20 subscribers now. 
So, uh, sky's the limit. <laughs> um, no, I don't actually know. Uh, I am investigating uh, different... Uh, what, what would you call it? Ways of funding this. Put it that way. Because uh, the money that I earn from my job, I actually want to put into savings and... Um, more important things like, you know, buying a house and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, still investigating areas on how to fund this and getting there. So hopefully that's, that happens sometime this year. If not, it'll be sometime in the future. You know, uh, the future is still unwritten for this. And, um, yeah, I'm still going to continue to put out my videos. Um, and... I wouldn't say innovate, but uh, continue to change things and hopefully make it more entertaining. And hopefully, hopefully, get more subscribers and uh, more views. And hopefully people like to watch my content even more. So, uh, yeah, as always, guys, uh, the comment section is down below. By all means, go for gold. Uh, whatever you want to say, put it down in the comment section. It doesn't even have to make sense. I don't even have to be able to read it. Just, if it's a comment down below, go for gold. Go for gold. If you want to put down a number, like three, go for it. Just go for it. Comment section is, is your playground. Go for gold. Otherwise, thank you very much, guys, for all the subscribers. All 20 of you glorious people. And all you guys that have watched my channel. And all you guys that have, um commented all the support that i've been given thank you very much i greatly appreciate it i love all you guys and uh i will continue this so thanks for watching guys i've been mad muck this has been my game room and i will see you next time in another video who knows maybe tomorrow maybe the day after i don't know when i release these things but uh yeah, get out of here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.